Hi Aries, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for March 2018. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Aries Sun, Aries Ascendant and Aries Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, now on to your reading for March 2018. First card you have in your reading today, Aries, is the Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. All good things coming to you in an emotional sense sometimes about one particular area. This can also mean feeling uh, full and contented emotionally, happiness and contentment emotionally. I feel like you're starting to feel good about yourself and almost like you've had some kind of cleansing. Maybe you did a cleanse or you've had a spiritual cleansing or your life is karmically getting cleansed. I don't know, but there's been some kind of cleansing that has gone on for you uh, prior to March or in March and uh, almost like you feel like a whole new you in some way. You're going to receive some promising news. You may start to work out arrangements or deals about booking flights or travel in March. There is a lot of little things you have to attend to. A lot of little details you have to uh, you know, care, take care of every little detail. Maybe, maybe to take this trip, you've got to get a lot of details and or organized, you know, like, you know, who's going to watch my kids or who's going to water my plants or how am I getting to and from the airport or, you know, other things, you know, working out a lot of details comes up here for you in March. It's like, I really feel like some of you Aries are going to feel like, wow, happiness has finally found me. So if your life has felt dull, humdrum, boring, or uh, not had a lot of happiness in it, just like going through the motions every day, I feel like for some reason in March, there's some kind of turnaround for you where happiness comes in. You're also going to be doing some pleasure seeking. So whatever things really float your boat, make you feel happy, if, if it's massage or taking a trip or, you know, buying yourself some new things or, you know, whatever it is that makes you feel good. I also see you doing some pleasure seeking things for yourself in March also. It's almost like you have to take a lot of burdens on, uh, and carry a lot of load for a variety of different people or you know this could be at work it could be your family it could be a combination of the two things and I feel that for some reason you have some pressure or burden that's getting lifted off of you in March if there's something you sell I feel that someone may start to buy your line if you make clothes or beauty products or, you know, something else you create. Maybe you make quilts or you build clocks or, you know, some intricate uh, artwork or something. You may find somebody that is willing to carry it, sell it, promote it, uh, help you out with yeah, and you're going to make money from it. Next card you have is two of pentacles. This is weighing your options or having to make a decision or a choice between two things. It can also be wishy-washy thinking. Um, it could be like, do I take this job or that job? Do I go out with this person or that person? Do, you know, like um, there's emotions tied up in this uh, option that you're considering here. You're going to receive notification of, about money that is due to you or owed to you. It could go the other way of money that you owe, uh, but it feels more like you're getting notification about receiving some kind of money that's owed to you. Any situation 
that was complicated or unclear or something that needed to get fixed. I feel you have a couple people coming into play here in this situation to help with it to help things get on the right track, get things in order, get things fixed. Uh, that comes up around the two of pentacles. Some situations may arise where you have to turn in a whole new direction and leave something behind completely. It could be a home, it could be a habit, it could be uh, a person, but there's some direction change for some of you Aries where you're like, you have to leave something completely. You maybe you're like, I'm starting a new career. I'm leaving this one. Oh, I'm starting a new job because this job's better. I'm leaving this one. Oh, I got a new place to live. I'm moving over here because it's better. So I have to leave this one. Same could even be a relationship, but some of you really have this, um, you know, leaving something behind for something new, improved, and, and better for you. I feel it may happen swift and kind of take you by surprise. You may not be expecting it. Maybe you thought, oh, I'm never getting out of this job. Oh, I'm never going to find a new place to live. Oh, I'm never getting out of this relationship. It's too difficult. I'm just going to stick with it. Uh, there could be some circumstantial, circumstantial changes here uh, that are coming into play. Now, the eclipse on January 31st in Leo and the eclipse on February 15th in Aquarius could have something to do with it, especially the one in Aquarius, because I feel like it's almost unexpected and the quickness with which it happens seems a little unexpected. Um, and also you have to be cautious, though, because Mercury is in retrograde this month of March, starting on the 22nd and going until I think it goes direct on the 15th of April. So be careful of making, unless it was something already in the works, you got to be careful about making any too big of drastic decisions and choices in March because if they're new, because they could get reversed once Mercury goes direct. But if this is something you've been thinking about, wanting to work on for a long time, or has been looked at in the past, and now it's getting revisited again, then it's okay. So now the next card you have here is the Ace of Cups. This could be new love relationship coming in for you, Aries, or God's giving you the abundance of love could be universal love, could be people you're already partnered with giving you a lot of love, but it could also be a new love. Some of you are going to be finding out in March that there's somebody that has a thing for you, that they're interested in you. You're going to be trying to figure out how you feel about it. Now, some of you may be like, woohoo. Some of you may be like, I don't know whether I, what I think of that or not may take a lot of courage on your part to muster up the courage to say yes if you get asked out on a date or if you, if it's the other way and you want to ask somebody else out may take a lot of courage for you to muster up to ask them out this is going to be a great time for you of love and emotions and relationships all the way around whether you're already coupled recently coupled, dating someone, or meeting someone new. You're going to be feeling pretty fantastic and feeling really good about yourself. I feel like, you know, maybe you've lost some weight or maybe you've had some recent plastic surgery or you've just been taking really good care of yourself and you feel like, hey, I look pretty good and I feel good um, in some way. Maybe your health is just super good and your mood is up because I see you feeling like your mood is elevated, things are running well, going well for you, and are on the upswing. Some of you are going to receive fantastic news about an engagement of somebody in your family. You could be getting engaged, or you could be hearing of someone getting engaged. So it's engagement news, uh, or seriously coupled news, but it feels more like an engagement, like Somebody's getting an engagement ring here and getting married. If this is a new love relationship, you are going to start doing a lot of things together. You're going here. You're going there. You're traveling. You're going up the coast, down the coast. 
uh, overseas, over there, over hill, over dale. <laughs> I just see you doing a lot of things together. Now, maybe you've already met this person, but maybe this person is new to you. Again, I'm going to repeat that. For some of you, your emotions and feelings about love or someone you're interested in are growing. They're growing and building. And uh, it's like you want to either take the relationship to the next level or you want to find ways to spend more time with each other. And if you haven't met them yet, you could be meeting them in March. There's going to be a lot of options here in this relationship. What do you want to do with it, Aries? You're going to be asking yourself that question. Weighing your options did come up. Next card you have is the Magician. That's the card of the Manifestor. What you think about, you bring about. And you have all the tools in front of you with which to do it. What's in the ethers and in the spiritual plane, you have the ability to manifest it into the physical plane. You're working on a lot of things and working out a lot of things and showing the world or the public or your bosses or clients or whomever what you can really do and what you're made of. I feel like March feels like a, uh, like a ta-da presentation month for you. You're going to be taking a lot of things seriously and putting a lot of pedal to the metal and a pushing forward with a lot of effort. You're not, I'm not saying you don't do it in other months. Don't get me wrong, Aries. I know you're quite driven uh, when you want to succeed, but for some reason it feels like your intellect, your drive and uh, to succeed and you feel uh, very inspired to do so in March. March feels like a very inspirational month for some of you. That may be because it's your birthday. Some Aries are born in March. Not all Aries are April Aries. So happy birthday to the March Aries out there. Some of you may be getting invited to put on a show or to put on a presentation. That comes up for some of you. You could be introducing yourself to people telling people who you are and what you're all about. Now this could be if you've met up with somebody new and you have a love partner now that you're meeting their family and you have to tell them what you're all about. But this could also be in some other area, not love. It could be, you know, like maybe you're starting a teaching program or you're, you're going to be a teacher or a mentor. Uh, <clears throat> maybe you're going to be somebody that's going to work with people with addictions. And so you're going to become an addiction counselor or a grief counselor. And you have to introduce yourself to people and tell them what you're all about. But introducing people and telling them what you're all about and how you work or what you think or what your perspectives are is coming up here. Maybe you're joining a new church uh, or a new uh, group of metaphysical practitioners. And so you're going to be like, hey, uh, just want to let you know this is who I am. This is the services I provide and this is what I'm all about. That could be in any field that you're in. It doesn't have to be metaphysical. It could be if you're a lawyer or, you know, you and you're networking, you know, you could be networking and then you have to tell people what you're all about. I see some of you Aries really putting the effort into getting yourself in shape. You may start jogging, walking, lifting weights, exercising, join a gym, doing it at home, doing yoga, whatever it is. I see some, whatever you're into, you know, roller skating, roller blading. I don't know if people even do that anymore. Uh, you know, whatever it is, I see some of you really starting to put the effort into getting yourself in better, better physical condition and shape. You have the Knight of Swords here charging into your reading. This could be an uh, air sign. This could either be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. That could be their sun sign, their rising sign, or their moon sign. This could also be you, Aries, if you have a rising sign or moon sign that is air. They're giving you insight and information. It feels to me like you're getting some direction from them. They could be a teacher to you or just somebody that's charging in with, hey, I've got information and knowledge to impart on you in March. Some of you are asking for direction from them or asking them to 
give you guidance or spell out directions very clearly for you. You're going to have a lot of communications with this Knight of Swords. You could be going back and forth with them about, you know, uh, litigation, details, information. Um, you could be having to partner up with them in some way. Maybe they're going to make you at work. Maybe this is going to be somebody that you team up with to do work together. And so you have a lot of communication back and forth with them. They could become a business partner to you even uh, if you're starting your own business. Or it could be somebody you're hiring to help give you guidance, knowledge, and information that's going to help you in your own business or in the work that you're doing. They could be, like I said, an instructor to you or somebody that wants to come in and show you or explain to you methodology or how things should be done or organized. Uh, they feel more like, like they're bringing in communication, knowledge, wisdom, order, um, protocols they definitely want you to hear what they have to say and they want to be like uh, get maybe even getting you to getting you to get on board with some kind of project or plan or idea that you two are connected with or you could be connected with them they could be giving you a job opportunity um, or some kind of assignment uh, or some kind of direction of something they need you to work on. This could be a boss to you. It could be a teacher or a professor. Uh, it could be an instructor of some sort. Maybe you take martial arts or uh, you're in dance or ballet and this is the instructor that's saying to you, uh, we're doing this show or and you need to do things in this format now uh, or it could be a boss that comes in and says you know what out with the old protocol in with the new now I'm going to show you the next steps of what we're going to do to do something here I'm not really feeling like this is the love partner for you here I, I'm not but for some of you it could be it's just not reading that way to me here you may be working together with them and figuring things out together with them. It could be love, but that's not really how it comes up the most strongly to me. But I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And Aries, if you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal and get additional predictions, messages, guidance, and insights from my spirit guides uh, for you for March of 2018, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for March 2018 Psychic Crystal Readings. You can also access these videos by going to my website which is newly updated www.theluckymermaid.com Click on the videos tab on my menu if you drop down, it's going to take you now to past videos of other years. If you just click on the main tab, you will get to the most recent videos. And this Psychic Crystal reading for March should be at the very top. You click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. And also, Aries, if you would like to get a reading just about love, I did a love forecast for 2018 Psychic Tarot and Crystal reading for each sign of the zodiac where I used three cards from the Tara Mucha tarot deck, three cards from the Connolly tarot deck, one card from the John Holland psychic tarot for the heart deck, and completed the reading with a reading from my crystal. So if you would like to get these videos for download and purchase, please click on the other link below this video or and it will take you to Vimeo or you can go to my website, that videos page on my website, and under the uh, March Crystal Readings, you will see the Love Forecast for 2018 Psychic Tarot and Crystal Readings for each sign of the Zodiac. You click on your sign, 
and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. So I wish you a marvelous March, Aries, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.